Hello friends, in this video I'm going to do the second excellence question of on complex numbers. Okay, and this is taken from 2006 exam paper of NZQA in New Zealand. Okay, so the question is find the locus. Locus is a very interesting point, also interesting word. Locus of point representing Z if z plus i over z minus i is purely imaginary very interesting question this looks to be very daunting okay this is a very crucial word which will be useful at the end of the example now i'll explain what is a locus locus the word locus stands for a set of points with a common character okay so what do i mean suppose if you take a circle a circle is a set of points with a which are at the same distance from the center so all the points on a circle have the same character or the same property that is that their distance each if you take any circle imagine any circle okay, let me draw a circle so that you can see Suppose if you draw any circle and if you take any point on the circle suppose well, this is a point and suppose this is the center and this is the radius if you join this to this is the radius okay so if this is r and if you take any point here and join it with this center that would also be r so each point on the circle are at the same distance from the center now i'll not go into others suppose you can talk about ellipse in an ellipse okay let me also talk about an ellipse uh, suppose this is an ellipse if you draw an ellipse ellipse has two focus or four sides suppose this is a focus and this is a other focus there are two focus two four psi and if you take a point say p here and say if you join it suppose if you join if you this is say this is one point uh, sorry this is suppose this is say your first focus so this is f1 and if this is f2 by definition a folk a, an ellipse is a is a set of points with a common character and the character is pf1 plus pf2 would be constant would be a constant number so i'll not explain how that is constant now if you have seen my uh, previous videos on ellipse or graphing ellipse you can see how i explain this so that's not the focus here we want to prove this so I always tell my students if you don't know what to do do what you know even in any situation in any example you should be knowing there are certain things that you do know but the problem is you don't you're not sure whether what you know is going to be useful I hope you know Z is a complex number and Z any Z any complex number can be written in this form which is X plus Y I where x is the real part and y i is the imaginary part any complex number has two parts one is the real part and the imaginary part so i'm going to let it i'm going to let z so that's my first step let z is equal to x plus y i nothing fancy about it very simple now i'm going to substitute this into this I'm going not to worry about this for a while. I'm just going to substitute in this form. So what will happen? So let me rewrite z plus i over z I put across minus i is equal to what is my z? Z is x plus x plus i y. So my so this will become uh 
x plus y i plus i over x plus y i minus i. Okay, so this will become x plus. What would happen here? You can factor out the i. Okay, so that will become y plus. 1i over x plus y minus 1i. Now from this step, if you want to go, go further, you have to do something which you have to remember. Okay, that is to multiply by the conjugate. So let me take a brighter color, so let me take blue. I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate of the denominator is this minus this. So that's pretty simple. So that is x minus y minus 1i over x minus y minus 1i. Now the next step is long expansion. So I'm going to expand this. So x times x is x squared. x times minus y minus 1i, I write as minus xi times y minus 1. And then I'm going to multiply with this. So this times x is same as plus xi times y plus 1. And then finally this times this, so you got minus y plus 1 times y minus 1 i squared. Hope you can see. Over, again this expansion. Now this is very simple. This is a plus b times a minus b. So I'll write this becomes x squared minus, I'll put a big bracket, y minus 1 i the whole squared. Okay, I'll use more space here. So this is equal to x squared. I'm going to expand now. This is minus x y i plus x i simple expansion plus x y i x y i plus I'll have to close this uh, I'll continue this in the next video